whether it's the lighting, thermostats, iTunes, even their cable boxes and DVD players will all show up on here. Encore was founded by Ian Williams, a lifetime audiophile. I had a big system in my car. I, I loved it. Who found himself caught in a rut. I didn't follow through with my passion. I was a heating and air conditioning tech for a while. I wasn't very happy. That was the biggest thing. And I woke up and I decided to do something that I really wanted to do. Williams actually leafed through the local phone book and started calling home theater installers until he landed a job. More than a decade later, his Sterling Virginia company is a leading designer installer of home theater and home automation systems. Our industry is fun. It, it really is. It's all about being entertained. For me, I, I, go, I go to work all day, and of course this is what I do for a living, but after I go to work and I come home with my family and my wife, I want to sit and relax. And one of the things that we like to enjoy as a family is, is entertainment. We, we turn on the television, um, we listen to iPods, uh, we share some of the same music together. Um, and, and this is something that is really hard to do and accomplish correctly if you don't hire the right people. We can log on from our iPhone, iPad, or from our desktop, and on our way home, we can set the thermostats to be 70 degrees so that when we walk in, it's nice and cool. Encore's clients range in age and taste, but Williams has discovered a common thread. Everybody likes to watch a good movie. Everybody likes music, um, at least the people that I've come across to. With each new project, Williams embarks on a thorough discovery phase. What we do on every job, every client, is we meet with the homeowner. So we sit down and I ask a series of questions pertaining to the lifestyle that they live on a day-to-day -day basis. And with that information, I can take that back to the drawing board and design a system that fits their needs and their budget. Ian had the ability of listening to us conceptually what we wanted, but didn't know on our part how to get there. But he was able to translate our desires into equipment and ultimately to not only install but to do the design and decor, which were more important to my wife, incidentally, than the sound system. And he ended up managing to please both of us. I've been doing this long enough that I know which products work and which products don't. Um, there are a lot of good companies out there that make a lot of good products. Um, but when we choose our products, we choose them on a few things. One is the quality in which they're built and two is the customer service that these companies provide us. Um, customer service for us is very important. Encore to me is someone that I can rely on, that I can call and make sure that what I need and when I need it, that it occurs. Once the discovery phase is complete and a plan is in place, Encore begins the project. The job might range from a home automation system that remotely controls everything from security cameras to room temperatures to a theater room. The one thing that I know about our industry is things are constantly changing on a daily basis. Um, so to ensure that we're providing the best solution for our clients, education for us is very important. We are members of CEDIA, which is Custom Electronics Design Installation Association. And you know the nice thing about CEDIA is, is they require you to have a certain amount of credits every year. And so this sort of forces us to continue our education and learn about all the new products and make sure that we're doing our job to the best of our abilities on a daily basis. We can still check our email. We can still browse through our Safari or Google. I think the biggest benefit is we have the expertise. We know what we're doing. We've, we've done this long enough. Um, we've done trial and error. We know what works. We know what doesn't work. Um, and in the end, what I've seen a lot of times from people that try to do these things themselves, they end up calling us anyway.